Welcome in everybody to the uh, Oz Talk with the Wind Dummies yet again. We're a little bit late this week, this couple days, but not a big deal. We'll, we'll get through what we need to get through. Uh, how are we doing tonight, guys? I'm good. 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 We got Mace with us, as you guys doing can great. see. So it uh, should be a fun show. We got, uh, we're just going to talk about some results from the past week or past mm -hmm. month. And uh, go to the next next couple of events coming up, and then chat with Mace for a little bit, and then Ronnie's got a game for us. So, I do. Um, first things first, let's uh, get into it. Uh, Chris Jones Memorial. It's the first event we had since we met up last. We had Tate Galloway coming away with a win in that one. Um, you guys want to talk about that event at all? Did anybody go to that? Yeah, I played it. I played it. It uh, always fun going down there and playing in Marquette unique unique course um few new changes this year on some greens to make it more darren bottom-esque i would guess you would say um yeah and tate and swede came down to the last hole and tate i think tate maybe birdied the last hole to win i don't remember but it was pretty close yeah i heard there was so. a lot of new uh Pin locations out there and i heard it was really windy i heard that advanced winter was like 24 over or something so yeah so uh, it was day. it was the first time i almost walked off of a course <laughs> i was eight up after oh, gosh four holes so God, somebody coming i'm not seeing who it uh it's eli smith not, uh said so the ob was rough I, unfortunately i wasn't able to make it this year um i do love marquette and yeah um, and that event too so i was a little bummed i couldn't get there either uh do you open we got nate is that nate taylor yep nate taylor Aster, taking uh, it down i heard asterisk. we had an asterisk so we got an asterisk nate. An asterisk. An yeah asterisk. nate got the open win kevin babbitt was low man um 99 people showed up and man that's one that i always try to get to but something's always going on and i have to miss it so yeah, it was it was a brutal miss for me. Two time defending champ and really wanted to go for a three peat and just kind of last last minute was unable to go. So uh maybe a double asterisk for, for Mr. Taylor. <laughs> the first I time. heard there was some interesting stuff. I heard somebody got hit in the head. Yeah. Uh a spectator and it caused a little bit of delay. Um I think Junod told me about a skip into a tree on hole one, a skip into the other side of the tree, then maybe a basket hit, and then an ace all on the same <laughs> card. So they were all Jeez. hunting it. Now, one of those, I may have made one of those up accidentally, but it <laughs> sounded like it was pretty eventful. And, yeah, we had an ace there. I don't remember if it was a KDJ ace or not. But... Yeah. I do remember seeing one, though. I love that place. That's one, that's one of my favorite Yeah. One of my favorite events every year. I love that place. That's, that's pretty bummed to miss that one, too. But, uh, Smoky Hill open in Abilene. Tate taking down another one. That's two wins in the last month for him, so that's that's good. Tate's a good player. Tate can, Tate can ball out. Yep, Tate, Tate's getting really good. So as right. smooth as they come off the tee pad, for sure. And I, I don't know much about what happened there at that event. I don't know that I... Yeah heard any stories or read anything about it. i know they had 40-ish people at browns park so and then uh moving to concordia kevin milbers good to see him getting back out and playing uh <laughs> kevin's good I'm sure a lot of people yep. that are listening or watching and i know we've all played with kevin kevin can really throw the frisbee well yeah for those of you who don't know kevin kevin from up there in northern Kansas, that dude's that dude's pretty good, and he has a chance to win Beloit. Seems like every year, so uh, yeah, that dude can play. And I'm just glad to Forgot see Concordia back on the map, and yeah, uh, the Starbur Star Disc out of uh, Beloit is actually who ran it. So, and I know they're doing another tournament in Beloit this summer, other than the state championship. So that's cool to see new people. Concordia's at airport, airport park. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Fun course. I love that. I love it that is course. A fun course. Yeah. It's a good one. Um, and then moving on to the Kansas Disc Sports Scholarship. Um, did I say that right? I don't know. 
Yeah, close uh, enough. Jordan <laughs> Jordan Schaefer taking that one down. I heard we got an asterisk on that one too. Yeah, yeah. Another time the uh, fifty year olds <laughs> came in and swung the uh, swung the <laughs> dong on the young guys. <laughs> so. Congratulations, yeah, Aaron Bottom. I guess I don't know. <laughs> no, not Aaron Bottom. <laughs> How many people? Eighty-one were... players. Eighty-one. And okay. Wow. We played fairly short course. We got to play both east and west. Played a lot of new holes on the west, and the scores are uh, not what will normally happen at Colwich. <laughs> I mean, it was it was short and it was easy. So, I mean, I don't know that we played one of the. I don't know that we played a, a long. Uh, pin to T all day. So it's just a lot of like get out of trouble shots off the T basically little scrambles. But I, I think that they said like almost 4,000 from the raffle to the uh, scholarship fund. So that's, that's awesome. Cool. And everybody, I meant to bring my trophy down. Everybody got a trophy that uh, all the mini discs belonged to Ace Mason and priest and bill made them into trophies. So every single person got one. So that's always cool. Yeah. Paulson's done that for, for most of the years I ever played the event. It seemed like everybody got some, got a trophy for, for participating. Yeah. And there's a, a huge trophy that your name goes on. I don't know if priest keeps it or if it goes with the winner, but it, it's, I, I, really I didn't get it when I won. I won a couple times at, at the, at the tick ranch. Uh, but I but I've heard that that exists. Yeah, it's neat. It's a nice one. And uh, we had a comment from Eli Smith that <clears throat> Michael did a great job, and then that Beloit tournament is May twenty seventh. I think that would be after Good. our next episode, so we'll touch on it next month. But we can talk about it today too. Um, and then yep. we got no fooling. Uh, looks like uh, Jacob. Jacob, I don't say Jacob who. <laughs> Jacob Harmon and uh, Elliot DeLong actually tied for the. Oh the lowest overall score and that might be uh my one and only flex event ever <laughs> i was i was at that park for a long dang time um if you, if you don't know about me when it's time to get up i'm usually up earlier than i need to be in there and cussing at people like mace who <laughs> show up on time for being late and uh, I was there for a long time, and I'm still chasing people down, trying to get them their prizes. Yeah. I mean, if I had a disc golf shop, it would be easy. Come to the shop, get it. But, yeah. yeah. So, it, you know, I like the format. I think it's fun to do those. And uh, if I do it again, I'll try to encourage people to get their payout there the day of. But it was, it was a real learning experience for me from the, the TD side. I thought it would be a lot easier to get – card set up and moving and I did some stuff with the TD report before I went that I thought were going to make it easier for me which actually backfired and made it harder but yeah but I think it was fun we did have some issues on hole 18 I had to throw it out because it got played different ways because of rules and whatever and I got a nice little letter from the PDJ that somebody turned me in for doing that so I looked at all the scores. It didn't change a single placement. It changed some scores, but you know, it is what it is. You only need yep. 13 holes to get a PJ yep. rating. That was really the goal of the thing, I think. Yeah. Flexes can be <laughs> they can be they can be difficult. So. Luckily, the weather was nice because it wasn't hard to sit out there all day, but mm -hmm. it was a long day. It wasn't. Consequently, it might be the last flex I ever play. So. <laughs> <laughs> Your arm's still sore? Uh, I lost count about halfway through, man. That was <laughs> needed the calculator to add my score. Up. It was pretty bad. Uh, uh, moving on to Andover, though, we got 60 players there, and we got Nate taking down another one. So. Yeah. No asterisks. Three-way tie one. going into the last hole. No, no asterisks. He actually got Goodness. this one. It was a uh, Nate and Swede and. Who was the third one, Ronnie? Do you remember? We were watching the scores too. Gosh darn it! I, I'll three look at them. Three of them going into it, and then Nate was the only one to birdie hole eighteen and got the win. Dang. 
So I think it might have been somebody we don't know. I don't know. We'll 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 shout them out because I will find it. Yeah. All right. Moving on to the upcoming events. Do we have that? You guys have that pulled up? I'm trying to pull it up. Yeah, I got them all right here. Awesome. What do we got coming up over the next month? Uh, this weekend we have Bueller, new newly renovated 18 hole course. Darren's expanded that, and I guess they got cement tee pads and all of that. And that's on the 15th, as well as uh, Park City. Mm-hmm. So guaranteed to be windy if we're playing in Park City, 100. percent It's got to be 40. Uh, so that it was Hayden Hayden Horacek. Okay, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. It was Hayden. And then uh, two weeks from now, we have Indian Rock, which is many people's highlight of their year going there and throwing off that cliff. And we got Mace, the TD here, so he might be able to tell us a few things about it. Um, On the 6th of next month, we have the Little Apple Open in Manhattan. And the same day, Garden City is doing their first Mm -hmm. event, so... You know, getting some new, new blood on the the tour that way, and then on that Sunday, the seventh, I'm um, after I finish up Little Apple Open on Saturday, we're gonna hit uh, New Course in Junction City on the way home and South Park Open there. So now I don't know anything awesome. about South Park. I hear a lot of things about the back nine being pretty tough or pretty rough, maybe. Mm-hmm. So. Mace, what can you tell us about The Rock? Um, co teething that one. Um, it's going to be a, I think, an 18 hole format. Sometimes they throw in a, a second or a 19th hole. Um, that course has always been one of the f- fun ones around because it has the elevation changes that you don't see in Kansas at all. Mm-hmm. Um, between throwing off of the cliff, throwing up the cliff, throwing across the cliff. It's just been a fun event for the last, I don't know how many, 30 years probably. Um, pretty much it's been about 30 years since that thing's been running solid. Uh, yeah. So it's just, it's one of my fun, um, one of my favorite courses to be at for sure. Yeah. It's Looking always forward. fun there. The Looking courses forward, and the dude. trophies, the trophies are super cool. Get your name on one of those plaques and, you know, that's uh yeah, that, that's pretty cool too. Yeah, many years ago, Clint Donaldson took a lot of his old trophies and um, donated them to the to the event, and where we took his names off of all of his the old trophies and then added each year's trophy or name to it as a traveling trophy. So that's really cool to see different names and people trying to hunt it down for the second and third time yeah. as well. So you, when they're once, you're doing pretty good. To, because man, so many times we've been there, it's the wind just been howling. I remember one year we were up there top. Many many years been up there top, and that wind just been howling through there. Been looked like a dust storm coming through. And um, right. what was the last year was was it a, a, a turn? The the wind changed directions and blew 18's basket over playing doubles. That's what I was gonna say. It was so bad someone had was having to hold that basket yep. up there. It was the it was the day after that tornado that hit Andover, so we'd had storms that whole night before. Uh, You're right. That's right. Yeah, it, it was, was, and it was pretty windy then. Uh, yeah, that wind starts howling right in your face off of one's tee, and that is scary. You 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 just hoping you don't lose a frisbee. Yeah. Don't care where it there's goes. Been, lose a frisbee. There's been a lot of uh, crazy stuff going on at that tournament too. Uh, I saw Randy Brown get domed from the top of the the hill. Miranda ripped one down there and hit him right in the back of the head. I've put seen him on that. his knees. I saw stacker aces, uh, mm-hmm. Austin and 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 downtown, and downtown skipped a rhino under a bench, <laughs> and up and in the basket. Pretty crazy. You have any <laughs> idea what hole it was? Uh, it's one of the. It, it was a temp hole back in the day. Now it's the one that we kind of throw down the creek to the longer the longer hole. Yeah. Is the one that used to be short on that same hole, Brandon. Oh. Like, one or two after we threw the island. Uh, yeah, they, they stacked it on me and Swede. That was a, that was a costly round. <laughs> that's tough. Um, yeah, yeah, that's fun. And 
you will fill that one the next day too if you go and play. I guarantee you, you might as well take Monday off because you're not going to be worth a darn at work. Even if it is sure. three rounds now, it's still. <laughs> oh, is it only three? Uh, it's three last, now, right? Yeah, last year was a, okay. Last year was the first year they moved it to third three rounds, on one two on Saturday, one on Sunday, and it's still it's brutal. Old remember, fact, guys, we're happy about that change. I can tell you that. <laughs> Yeah, I remember that current the current layout for the most part was um, Kevin and I, Kevin Carter, one of the old legends from Salina there, where we came and laid laid that course out pretty much where it is now. And man, it was just of course there had been a few few modifications, but it's overall flow of it was back then. And I remember still this day walking around that place and just hearing him laugh about all the different so shots and stuff like that. <laughs> Brings back a lot of memories. That's great. A lot of really cool holes on that course too. Like that dog leg to the right. That's one of my favorite. Like you throw off of the cliff and then you play that dog leg to the right after the pond. That's one of my favorite holes because you can par that thing throwing 280 feet and then 280 feet. Or you can try to go for it. I've seen Bo Crosco get up there for a park job, but Usually when you go for it, you end up OB or in the trees getting a four or worse. So that's an awesome hole. The uh, the one up the hill, up the, the grass part of the hill towards the clubhouse, mm -hmm. it might be like four holes after that. That that hole is fantastic, man. Just a tight, narrowing fairway up that hill. So, yeah. That one's Those changed a little bit. Holes. Now we play it mm -hmm. instead of playing down the – like down the old tunnel that we used to play, we kind of play it out to the left a little bit and it brings that road in. So now you're turning around that corner on the road. Um, yeah. it's a, But I mean, there's, there's been so many changes over the years on that one, but they've all been, there's so many old cool holes and some of the new cool holes that I'd, I'd never played till the last year when I went, cause it had been a few years since I'd went. Uh, they were, I mean, that's, that's always going to be, uh, pretty much anyone who's ever been there, that's going to be one of their favorite courses they've ever played. I mean, it's just fun. Yeah. Yep. For sure. Well, do we want to do it? So, and then uh, uh, another thing I'd say is that we, we've, hang on one sec. We've got a, a complete restock of KDJ discs. The Dennis and Millennium hooked us up. So we're, we got those ready to go out to people who haven't gotten them yet. We've got all the rest of the shirts in. Um, we're waiting on the pins, but we're going to try to get the uh, shirts and discs out at the next few tournaments. So, you know, hopefully we can get somebody, some representation there to pass those out to people that need them. So we want to get those out as quickly as we can, which seems like we're way far behind, but we are way ahead of where we normally are getting those things out. Speaking of that, Ronnie, you had oh. numbers on new members that you put in the chat. Yeah, yeah, I was going to think new members, just members piggyback. in general. Yeah, it looks like by by the best count I can find, we've got about two hundred and twenty two members, uh, current members right now. Um, looking at looking at the uh, standings of which looks like first place right now. The overall point leader uh, for the KDGA is Craig, Craig Winters. 199 points. Right behind him is Mr. Leahy, and then Mr. Smith's a ways back. Uh, but it looks like looks like Craig's out to a pretty pretty good lead already. Guy plays a lot of events. A lot of food drives. Yeah, those guys, those two both played a ton of food drives. And, yeah. yeah. Right on. We ready to ask right. Mason some questions? Let's do it. Yeah, let's get with it. All right, three off the tee. Mace, we're going to do a, a new a new deal here for you. This, we're going to start doing this with all our guests. You're going to be the guinea pig. We're going to call it three from the tee. Awesome. So for the three questions. Uh, the first one, do you remember the first disc you ever owned? It would be a gazelle. And a a gazelle. white gazelle. Nice. Gotcha. DX. Yeah. They didn't make anything but that back then, did they? Exactly. <laughs> 98. Right there, right behind you. I said, I'm talking to old guys. Uh, your favorite event? 
either that you've ran, played, uh, just your favorite event? I'd have to say The Rock. I've always looked forward to The Rock. In a few years I wasn't there, I was always disappointed that I, I didn't wasn't able to make it. That shocks me. I would think something like uh, Japan Open or USDGC might be above The Rock, but yeah. I guess The Rock's pretty cool. Yeah, G- Japan Open was a was a highlight. That's for sure. Man, you guys had of, an awesome that crew. That would have been cool. Cool to go to. Like that one kind of gets you start thinking about the Kansas events, and you just kind of think internally. But yeah. Japan Open, man, that was that was a fun time. Well, you took a bunch of Kansas back. guys up there, didn't you? Yeah, there was um, the Cashin brothers were there. Alkers, Crazy John, um, Bruce, um, Tall Guy. Oh, Tall Guy was there. Duck was there. Um. Oh uh, God, what's what's some of the other Kansas City guys? Um, I see their faces, but I just can't pick them out right away. But yeah, there was there was a lot of them there, and it was we spent um, seven days up in the mountains, I believe it was, um, in more Japanese style, traditional style, um, housing and eating. Learned to pick up rice with the chopstick while I was there. Thanks to my, my brother was there too, Brian. Um, first morning I was there, he yanks the spoon out of my finger and my hand and gives me chopstick and says, you're going to eat with these from here on out. So it was a lot of cool times. That's why well, I think the USDC awesome. would be awesome too. I mean, you've seen, you've been going I've to been, that and yeah, I've been to, the pro shop for a lot of years. I've been to all but probably two of those and that's it's always cool to see that see the different the progression of that over the years as well what are, what are they Pretty coming amazing up on? stuff 20 25 years or so 25 years? 25 years is this year yeah i thought i'd heard so, ken say something about he might try to at least start this year because it's the 25th anniversary and he's gonna do commentary I did hear. I heard Is that he as really? well on the Disc Golf Network. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I like that year that so he that did it cool. last. That was awesome. He did good. Well, that interview, that he, interview right. he did with uh, Yuli and uh, Brody. Face? Brody yep. was really good. I mean, you could really, you could feel that dude's pain that he had given his entire life basically to disc golf and very little in return. And then these guys, you know, now are they're they're making a tremendous living off of the game and you could you could tell that it was really frustrating to him i thought and then uh you know he's he pretty much said i would do things if people would reach out and make it worth my time and you could see brody's wheels turning he was already figuring out because brody's a businessman on top of all of it and he was figuring out how can i get this guy involved in some things so you know, I hope that he comes back on the scene a little bit. Yeah, I haven't yeah, got who watch does that yet. And yeah. Listen to that, but I, I definitely need to. Yeah, it's a good one. So, Brandon, your answer there might might lead us into to the last question that we ask on the the, the three the three from the T. What's your most cherished disc golf memory? <laughs> Grip lock and Ellsworth. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's that's a hard one to narrow down. It's you know, it's um, being in the sport for so long. Um, I don't know how to answer that one. I just you know, it's a, I, one thing I can say about the sport um, and memories is that I would have known none of you guys or none of my other great friends from disc golf if it hadn't have been for this little plastic widgets that we throw around the, throw around the park and love to do it so much, you know? And so to, to narrow it down to one greatest memory, I don't know, you know, the, the thing that I cherish the most is all the friendships and all the people I've met over the years. Love it. I agree with that completely. All right. Well, that's, that's my, that's my three. Y'all boys are up. <laughs> you can wipe the tears from your eyes, Smitty. You're up. 
Well, I was just hoping that the uh, road trip home from Star City Shootout might make his uh, <laughs> top memory. That was a that was a unique experience for sure. So, might be kids yeah. watching, or I'd tell you guys what happened. <laughs> um, I guess my question for you, Mace, is you've been around the game the longest of any of us here for sure. Um, biggest changes that you've seen. What's, you know, com compare a tournament that you're going to do at the Rock here in a couple weeks to a very early tournament in early 2000s. What's, what are, what are the big differences? Scorecards are the huge, the most noticeable difference. Um, you know, they were, it was back in the day that you'd have to have a, a, a decent sized crew you know, four or five people to help run through the cards to try to tally everything up and get them back and in, shaped into or, um, into order for the next round. Um, so many um, everybody trying, you know, the sign up the day of was something that was almost um, a given. You know, you you could go to any event you want drive up there um that morning and you knew there was times so there time you were gonna be able to get on there i don't know how many events that i've gone um with smitty up to to nebraska um mccabe and um some of the other dale bear and stuff like that down to waco and to texas and we didn't really sign up for many events early back in the day you know we just showed up loaded a car up and, and went. So, you know, the signups, scorecards, and um, the ease of getting information out about an event anymore is, is, is probably the biggest differences within the events, the ad, admin side of the events. How about from a vendor's perspective? It's a, that's a whole different perspective too. You know, it's, I remember going, having um two 50 boxes of innova back in the day and you had every, about every disc you ever uh, dx discs into an event and you had about every every disc that somebody would want now you can have four tablefuls of of discs and you don't have everything people want you know whether it's the weight the the plastic the vent the uh, model the mold you name it um manufacturer it's really the, the sports really took it on a whole new face over the past four or five years. And the fact of, you know, that everybody used to go, discs used to be a lot harder to get, get to. Um, you go, used to go to an event with a pocket full of money to buy the next, the supply of discs you needed for until you were going to go to another event because there wasn't a, shop set up around the corner in, in the town or whatever it was you came to the tournament to find people that sold discs to uh stock up for your next disc and you know the people that don't know what um the dx side of things were like to throw i remember throwing dx one time where it came off of a road or came off of a tree and looked like a cheese grater took a hold of it and <laughs> that thing was no longer stable it was your next favorite roller till i hit the next tree and it was done <laughs> after that Yeah, I remember the days of uh, cashing a tournament and you get a bag of Frisbees. There you go, right? How easy was that yeah. from the TD's point of view? And, you know, if you didn't like what you got there, you had you really had two choices. Number one, trade with somebody there. Number two, live with it because that's what you were getting, man. And I love that. Yeah. Sometimes that was the way to wear new Frisbees. A stack of lightning from Harvey one time. And I was like, this is awesome. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Not you, people would go insane if you did that now. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yep. Go over well. All right. My, I got another one for you. All right. You don't play a lot of tournaments and you really pretty much run the rock and Beloit and, uh, the golf course thing in Salina. Other than that, you're not really 
on the scene as much as you used to be? What keeps you around and part of the KDGA? Why not just say, yeah, disc golf, you know, it's not the most important thing in my life. I've got other things going on and be done with it. Um, it's, it's back to the friendships. I always love seeing the people out, um, trying to make a commitment this year of getting back out more and playing, getting more casual rounds in. I think I've already had more casual rounds in this year than I had all last year combined. So, um, it's, you know, love, love of the game, love of the sport, love to, uh, meet new people and see other people thrive and, and see that little, that plastic frisbee head down the fairway is always something that's always real cool to see. Yeah. I don't really know what I want to, what question I have, but I'm just, I'm wearing my uh, state championship shirt. And I remember my first event I ever played was Beloit in 2014. I'm pretty sure my first KDJ event, my first tournament I ever played. And I, that was, I, I loved it. I was hooked. The environment I immediately was just, this is a group I want to be around forever. So you kind of help facilitate that run in that tournament. So I just want to, you know, thank you for everything that you've done to run a tournaments, all that fun stuff. So it's, uh, it's definitely important to have TDs that know what they're doing. Oh yeah. And could you imagine if everybody's first disc golf experience was Beloit in its heyday, yeah. man, everybody just stayed up all night. Just, Oh my gosh, man. Play glow all night. Uh -oh. Uh oh, we lost him. Great. Oh, there he is. He's back already. There you are. You well, dropped hey, off base. for a second. <laughs> Trade we lost you, buddy. <laughs> yeah, if everybody's first, if everybody's first tournament experience was Beloit, they'd be, everybody'd be hooked. Yeah, we'd have to have we'd have to have double the size fields if that was the case. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I don't I don't think well, I have another question for Brandon either. Just yeah, a thank you. Um, yeah, I've been around this this game for over twenty years, and and you have been a part of it. You know that whole time. Uh, one of the first people I met playing. Uh, disc golf at a tournament and, and uh, just thanks for keeping this thing going you and everyone else that has gone along with it I know the guy up above you is you know a big part of that and uh, and yeah just thank you yeah for sure and I, I got to share a couple mace man memories before I uh, yeah. get out of here and I'll, I'll keep them both good um, hey wait, 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 wait before you dive into that um, so touch on what Gerber said and, and what you guys are saying too about Beloit is that if anybody that's listening to this or knows anybody that um, wants to try to get some of those side games going, let's do it this year. Yeah. We've done a lot of fun stuff. I think that's, that's, that's one thing that I've missed out a few times on the last few years too, is that having some of that stuff going on the tennis court, man, that was always a hoot Double to go disc. watch and, and be a part of. It's a good time. I, I don't think I'm going to make it this year. It's right after we're going to get back from Arizona. I'm going to try to make it happen. It's going to kill me if I don't. But my my camper will be there one way or another. So if somebody's looking for a place to sleep, hit the boys up because they'll 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 make sure it gets there if if I'm not. Definitely. Who's going to fight with Nick over a cornhole all weekend? <laughs> well, I mean, it's kind of, it's it's kind of like the 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 dis unlimited open. I might not be there, but we know what would have happened if I was. Yeah, well, those two boys will probably get in a real fight this year. Then <laughs> you're always there to keep them out of it. But no, we're gonna jump that. One of my uh, one of my first and favorite memories of Mace was from The Rock, and it was my first year at The Rock. And I'd only played disc golf in Hayes, and which is a pretty lucky place to only play disc golf. And the other one was a uh, ransom. And I went down to the Salina tournament and I kind of knew Mace. I didn't know Mace at that time. And I was standing there on that cliff, getting ready to throw over that pond. And man, I knew I wasn't going to make it. I was, I, I knew I was going to lose the disc. And Mace just comes walking around the corner, looks at me and says, it's just a little rock shot and throws what I thought was the greatest shot in the history of disc golf right over this pond and i'm like whoa my god i couldn't believe somebody did that with a mid-range on top of that so that was a that was a good memory and then another one was uh 
Mace played. <laughs> Mace already knows where this is going. I think Mace played the uh, Emporia Lovable Lawyers Open at that time. I think. Oh wow! And, <laughs> yeah, long time ago, and uh, I actually beat him first time. And I, I went home and I told my wife at the time, yeah, I beat Brandon Mace and he owns a disc golf company. And I thought I was just big time. <laughs> and so many other memories, like backing into a tree at Beloit, <laughs> backing the van out of the driveway and bottoming out, just all kinds of good stuff. So, so sad. Yeah. You're going to talk about your other Beloit or Emporia story. Oh yeah, no. <laughs> I've, been, I've been a bad boy, but I'm not going there tonight. <laughs> yeah. I don't Anybody know wants to hear that, I... just see Sean Mann on that. Ask Sean Mann that story. He'll tell you. Yeah. How how have we never ended up in jail, Mace? I don't know. We're pretty luck. sneaky, I think. Yeah, it's got to be luck. So. Anywho, all right. Any questions for Mace out on the board yeah. or not? Anybody in the chat got some questions for Mace? Throw them up. I'll give you a couple seconds to throw them in there. Uh, Joe Morrison did say Budweiser's going to hook it up at the Beloit uh, tournament this year. So shout out to Pessiners they, over there in Beloit. They hooked it up last year for sure. Yeah. I've never Absolutely. seen so much free beer. I do want to say, no Mace. I think you. Me. I think you have a lot of bad luck with your computers at tournaments. So <laughs> there's been a yeah. few years where it's just like let's do an update right now like there's no oh, wi-fi yeah. out there so yeah that's sometimes i uh need to i've, I've learned i need to get my computer start started up the day a couple days before not just the work computer that's fair yeah. well you always With technology comes issues. oh yeah no you do yeah i would i would go Except insane if mine wouldn't work <laughs> oh i would too was, what do you, what do you say? You got Smitty there pounding right, right. on your last nerve. Come on, Mace. Come on. Come on. <laughs> What's taking so long? Let's go. Mm -hmm. Some of that might be intentional. <clears throat> let's let's play this game while we're while we're oh, waiting for, for any more questions. Yeah. I've got it locked and loaded. So Gerb said something about starting in 2014. You're in luck, Slick. Because what I did was pulled the KDGA points leaders. From 2014. This is all divisions, all people qualified. We will accept top 15 answers. And I will give you a hint. I did not play that year. Obviously, that was in one of my many retirements, so I do not qualify. Gerber, would you like to go first since you're likely to be out out first as well. How many how many guesses is, do I get? This is just 2014. Just 2014 top points winners from the KDGA in 2014. You get three misses. Okay. Well, I'll go Smitty. That would be miss number one. Oh, nice. Heck yeah. Chris Smith That's was sorry. 18th in points <sighs> in 2014. What a bad start. I set you up for failure there. <laughs> it was it might have been on purpose. That's okay. <laughs> Smitty. Ben Moss. Ben Moss was twelfth place in two thousand and fourteen. Mr. Mays. Um Juno. Mike nope. Junod is Mike not Junod. on the list. I have the top 20. Really? He is not on the list of the top 20. What about Wiggins? Ben Wiggins, for KDGA champion in 2014. I'm on the board. That's all that matters. Kingpin. Second place in 2014, Crispin Carrasco. Converse. Ron Converse, eighth place. I want to say was Babbitt on there? Kevin Babbitt is not on the list. Strike numero dos. 
Yeah, I'm on the board. I'm happy. 2014. Swede. Brandon Nelson, fifth in points in 2014. How about Unruh? Mike? Mike Unruh is on the list in fifth. One advanced in 2014. That was fifth good... place? He was sixth, sixth overall, and he won advanced in 2014. Wow. Nice one, Mace. Good pull. Gerber, you needed um, to stay alive. Nate Martin. Nate Martin was not on the list. Gerber, Predictable. Who was that one? <laughs> you I picked, made it four you rounds. Nate Martin. I made it four Nate rounds. Nate Martin. Me? Smitty. Harvey Barger. Harvey Barger is not on the list. Strike one. <sighs> I can cheat now. I won't answer anymore, but I can cheat now. I pulled these right off KansasDiscGolf.com. Is the Austin Stride on that list? Austin Stride, 14th Ooh. in total points in 2014. On the list. Good good pull. Smitty? I'm thinking. You're missing a You guys are missing a few obvious ones, and then there's going to be some – then you're going to kick yourself. And then there's one that I don't How think you How many do I have left? You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight possible answers remaining. 2014. It's only like almost 10 years ago. How about... Surprise looking at this. I'm thinking I didn't fall asleep. <laughs> so, so do we need to, we we need to call uh, timer. emergency? Darren oh, Bottom. Baseball timer on Smith. Darren Bottom, 15th place Ooh. in overall points. Wow. 2014. Just snuck on the list. Last man to qualify. Mm. So you got at least four minutes compared to the last answer, Mason. No <laughs> I think one of the answers on the board might be correct too on the chat. Don't go looking at those; they're not going to help you. I mean, there's there's a hit. They're both wrong. They're, they're both incorrect. I knew Madison was wrong, but I thought Brady might have had been up there. There's one name in there, definitely. Well. What about Bo Carrasco? Bo Carrasco, Ooh. fourth in total points in 2014. I can't believe I forgot that. I just couldn't remember if that's when he before he dropped out of playing or not. So that's where I was right there on the fence with him. How many misses does Mace have? Mace only has one. Same as me, huh? Yep. Scuba Steve. Not on the list. Oh! Strike two. Who was that? Scuba. I think my internet froze. We can still see you. you what you <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Are you looking online or what? What? Um, Strange no. time to say your internet. Crappy froze. internet. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we can tell Crappy by the speed. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Um, T. Rude. Oh, yeah, for sure. Tracy Ruder, ninth in points in 2014. Dang it. He's got to have it or he's, or he's gone. And there's what? There is still five, seven, seven? five five possible answers. 
You guys have got 10 who of did, the 15. Who did Smitty? There's definitely. Who did Smitty say last time? Scuba. With his failure? Scuba's not on Scuba. there. Yeah. Um... Damn. I should have been thinking instead of giving Mace crap. <laughs> you said Darren was 15? Darren, Darren was the last one. Yeah, Darren was the last qualifying number. Don Mordecai. Don Mordecai is not on the list. So the guest wins. Mace, do you have any more guesses before we reveal the rest of the of the answers? Um, I don't. Though I, I would say Randy, but I don't think he was a KJ no. member back then. Mm-hmm. No, nope. that time period. So the ones you guys did not get. So I'll I'll give you the whole list. This these are these are the points, the overall points regardless of division. Ben Wiggins, Crispin Carrasco, Casey Flutie, oh, Bo Carrasco, Swede. Mike Unruh, Jared Kinsel, whoa, Ron Converse, P. Rude, Nate Taylor. That one surprised Kurt, me. Curtis Broadhurst, Ben Moss, Lloyd Majors, <laughs> Austin Strike, Aaron Bottom. Oh, wow. 16 Who's through last one? Aaron Bottom was 15. So 16 uh, through 20 was Bron. Uh, BT, Brian Thompson, Eric Blatnick, Smitty, Derek Dean, and Buddy Castle. How about Lloyd? I, I knew you guys would never get that one, but <laughs> that's amazing. Yep. Yeah, we should have got job. Curtis. Good job, Mace. Yeah, and Jared Cannoli. Cannoli was in there. Him that's and, awesome. Where is Madison on the points anywhere? He... Oh, he's his name probably on. never been a KDJ member. Okay. No, I mean, if he's been a member, he, he probably hasn't played outside of Hutch and that area and the October Frizz every year. But, yeah, he's just one of those uh, mainstays in Kansas disc golf that doesn't get around with the greatest disc golf museum ever probably. That dude's got some cool stuff. So, all right. Well, I think that's all we got. Unless you guys well, got Mace with the dub. Yeah, Mace with the dub. First of all, Space thought it was going to be an easy loss for <laughs> easy win for himself. Well, I knew I wasn't going to get last. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, I may I may have set Gerbs up for failure okay. just a little I, bit. I just need a brush when, up when I cut it off <laughs> just above where Smitty was. <laughs> I just wanted someone to guess him and be wrong. Yeah, sorry. That's fair. That's okay. You did what you had to do, you know. <laughs> All right, then, boys. Yeah. Thanks for coming on, Mace, and thank you again for everything you've done. We, we appreciate it. So. And hey, I'd say if somebody wants to uh, give us an idea for our next week's guest, yeah, put it in the chat. I'm thinking maybe I think Dennis would be an awesome guest. I think uh, I would love to get Harvey on. We could hear well, some then We don't have to do anything. If we get Harvey on, we don't have to do anything. We just sit <laughs> right. back and let him go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cool. All right. All right. Then. I have to bring a computer out to him, though. <laughs> He's got one. Do what we gotta He's do. got Facebook. <laughs> All right. We'll see yeah. you guys next month. Yep. All right, boys. Appreciate Later. it. Later.